Well, it's super early in the morning and we are at the airport because Ed and I are gonna fly down to Dallas to go to Universal Rocks, load up a truck with our fake rock decor for the zoo and drive it back up home. So we figured we would make a video of our adventure and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, it's really early though. I'm still waking myself up, but I've got my caribou. I've got a scone because scones are delicious and I, I think we'll be set. So we'll see you in Texas. at the Penske Truck Rental Center and that is not the truck we're taking back with us. That is! And surprisingly you don't need a CDL in order to drive it. Thankfully Ed has a little bit of experience driving this size of a truck so we'll be fine. But we're going to now bring this to Universal Rocks, film and see what's new at Universal Rocks, check out some of the decor we're bringing home, and then have this filled up to the brim with zoo decor. So let's head over to Universal Rocks! Woohoo! Parked at Universal Rocks! Well, we are heading back to our rental car to go try to find some cotton mouths, actually, for a video while we're down here. We may as well film some venomous stuff. But yeah, we're gonna come back tomorrow and we'll see if the truck is loaded up. If not, oh no, I guess we have to stay in Texas one more day to find yeah. more cotton oh, mouths. Oh, shucks. Darn it. Oh well. Well, we'll see what we can find. Oh, Waffle House! Oh, that's right, they have in and out down here. Ooh, a jack-in-the-box. We don't have those up north. What's a church's chicken? Oh my gosh, it's amazing! But what is... what's this thing? I don't know. So a lot of people, uh, there was a couple comments that said we didn't experience Texas last time because we never had Big Red. So, here's Big Red. We picked it up at a gas station. And let's see how it tastes. I mean, it's red, so it's gotta be yeah. good. Red stuff is good. Oh, wow. Oh, red. it's very sweet. Yeah, here, try it. That's actually really good. Oh, hmm. all right, Texans, you were right. That is delicious. Big Red is pretty good. Here is the truck. Oh my gosh. Can we fit our suitcases in here? <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be good. Yeah, this is gonna leave. That'll this still work. Like that there, is filled to yeah. the max. Perfect. This is amazing. Oh yeah, it fits great. Okay, well Stuart and his team got everything loaded up into the Penske that they could fit. Sounds like we might have to ship a couple things separately because even 26 feet of space wasn't quite enough for everything that we're bringing back, but now we get to drive this all the way back up to Minnesota. And we're off! Oh wait, I'm supposed to be on that truck. We did it! We're in the truck! We're driving home now. We only have four You look like a school bus driver with how much you're bouncing up and down. That's good. I am on a seat that bounces. <laughs> is it comfy? It is. It's not bad. But I've never sat over there, so I don't know what the difference is. Yeah, my seat doesn't bounce at all. I'm always going to have a sore back at the end of this. I feel every single bump. <laughs> First stop, Oklahoma City! Hooray! No, wait, no, wait. First stop, Bucky's. We have to go to Bucky's. How could I have forgotten? I've been yeah. looking forward to that like most of all this trip. Let's go to Bucky's! Oh my gosh! There it is! Bucky's! Yeah, look at all these uh, gas pumps. They're everywhere. This place is huge. Let's go inside. They're so big, they have their own gift shop in their station. 
Look at all the coffee choices. Oh. Oh. They have shopping carts in a gas station. A lanyard? Yes. Oh, a pen? Yes, please. Oh, tea chains? Sure, I'll take that. Orange shirt? <gasps> yes! All right. Yeah, I think I need them. Just realized I'm wearing all of my Bucky's stuff as I edit this video. I might have a problem. Hey, Clint, that's close to stinking red. I think this shirt's for you. I want to try Bucky's Cheetos? Sure. What else is around here? Because it's two for two dollars. Okay. Cheap. Um, there's Buckos. Cheetos. Okay. Is that? Oh. Nice. Found beaver nuggets uh, per. A Megan and Nicole on Megan Patreon. Megan and Nicole's request. We've got to try them, I guess. Yep. Think they have chocolate here? Uh, I think they have a lot of chocolate here. Oh, chocolate. Oh, more chocolate. <gasps> more chocolate. Ah, where do I start? Oh, and chocolate covered raisins. Oh, they have dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Which one do we choose? Milk chocolate. Oh, and nice. We'll just get them both. Geez, did you get enough stuff? I wanted more, but I couldn't carry anymore. <laughs> I just have an icy. Does this mean I get to eat all this stuff? That's no. All mine? No. That's oh, sweet. <laughs> okay, fine. I chose some of the things. <laughs> okay, we're back on the road, and I think the first thing we should try are these beaver nuggets. It's like popcorn dipped in caramel. Yeah. Mm. Is it good? That's exactly what it is. Really? Ah, oh, okay. Oh, you're right, Megan and Nicole. These are great. Okay, based on Megan's suggestion on Patreon and where we should go to try new food, we are at Fuzzy's in Dallas, and oh my gosh, this place is incredible. It's probably the best Mexican food I've ever had. I have a breakfast taco, churros, which I've never had them before. I wasn't expecting them to be squishy, but they are delicious. This is by far the best guac I have ever had, and Ed likes it all too. Mm -hmm. It's all really good. Yeah, thank you, Megan, for the suggestion. Mm -hmm. Someone needs to open a Fuzzies up uh, right next to our building, I think, in Minnesota. We would go there every day. We would. Fun town! Yeah! It's like so much fun. Oh wait, there's a casino up here. Oh, it is a fun town! Day two! Hooray! Oh. You can do it. You can do it, Trex. Yeah. And where are we going? The uh, zoo. We're going to the Oklahoma City Zoo. Yeah. Yay. Yep, this is how we're traveling across the country. A bunch of fake rocks and suitcases jammed in the back of a 26 foot Penske. It's awesome. Oh no, science museum or zoo? Science museum or zoo? I mean, science ah. museum doesn't have animals. So. That's true. Let's do the zoo. Goodbye, truck. Be good while we're at the zoo. Stay there. Yes! Please have lots of reptiles. Well, hello. 
Hello, red crowned crane. What are you doing? Oh, well, hello. You are gorgeous. I love the fact that his feathers on his head aren't feathers. Yeah, it's just red skin. Yeah. Oh, and he pooped. That's what he thinks of us. Yeah. Do you think that one's gravid? He looks thick. That or just fat. Wow, she's huge. Oh my gosh, they have an eastern Massasauga here. Those are native to our area. I don't know if I've ever seen one in person before, which is sad, but wow, they do look just like our hog noses. Yeah, we found you in the wild. Aww, hi cutie. Yeah, you're right, it has a very thin head. Green Annie. Aw, Tiny's gonna get that big someday. We're gonna have to make sure he's really friendly when he gets that big. Yeah, really. No! I've committed a sin! We left the chocolate in the truck while we were at the zoo and it's all melted! So, this is our solution. We have that one taped in front of the air conditioning and I'll try taping this one too. Come back, chocolate! I want to eat you! For lunch today, we tried out a new place called Taco Bueno, which is apparently something you have to try when you're in Oklahoma. Unfortunately though... Yeah, it wasn't great. It wasn't good. <gasps> road house. Road, road. House road. House, house. So I'm on the Snake Discovery Discord and they're asking what Wisconsin is known for. What would you say Wisconsin's known for? Probably cheese. Oh, yeah. and beer. Cheese and beer. Look, look. Beer. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm born and raised in Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. Go Wisconsin. <laughs> well, one of our amazing viewers named Will has offered to give us a pair of hognose snakes that he is no longer able to keep. So we're on our way to his house in Missouri to go pick them up on our way home. But we need a couple containers to put them in. So. I'm gonna check out this place and see what we can find. An alley grabber. That's awesome. <laughs> He's even got eyeballs. He does! The googly eyes too! Oh, perfect! This'll work! Woo! Well, they're gonna be in there for a day. Maybe we'll go with these. Perfect! No, yeah, we just have to drill holes in them somehow. Success! We found an amazing employee named Joe to drill holes in the side. Everyone was a little confused as to why we're getting snakes, but they, no. they, they, they seemed okay with drilling holes at least. So we just put these containers in the truck and we're ready to go, and Ed found a new friend. Yeah, there's a little jumper right there. There's a jumping spider on the dash! Come here, we'll feed you. Can we, are you gonna come home with us? No, don't go up there. No. No, come oh, back. He's gone. Oh, he's, he's on the on. window. Okay, okay, we're good. We have to, we need to find something to put him uh, in. Oh, he's a little male, I think. Oh! We need something to put him in. He's so robotic. Is he? Yeah. Uh, I have, I have a battery container we for. Can do that. Okay. That would work. We don't need a camera battery container. You just have to open it up. Yeah, we have to get holes in that now too. Little jumping spider. Come on. Can you be our new friend? Oh, sweet. He Did he just hop right in? Climbed right in. Oh my gosh, he does want to come home with us. <laughs> no way. Aw. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to go home with a jumper. I wonder when he hopped in the truck. Do you think he's from Texas? I'm guessing he was living in here. Probably. So I'm guessing he is from Texas. Whoa. Yeah, he, he's with us in Arkansas right now, but you're gonna come home to Wisconsin. What are we gonna name this little guy? Oh, I'll have to think of something related to the trip. What about, what about Fuzzy? For the, or Fuzzy is the rest oh, of Oh, yes. Okay, your name will be Fuzzy after Fuzzy's Taco Shop be 
Okay. Bucky's baked cheesy curls are even better than Cheetos, and I love Cheetos. They're almost gone now. No. no more Bucky's cheese curls for me. How are your nuggets? Good. I really like nuggets. Yay, Bucky's. See what's ahead, don't you? Yeah, there's a tunnel. spider he made a nest in the camera battery holder like right away so I didn't want to like pull that out so instead I just put the whole thing in a Duncan cup and uh, that's his habitat for the ride home he gets to sit in in the cup holder it's perfect and one other animal we picked up from Will and Toby oh, come here, bud. inside here is a Brooks king snake he is beautiful come here buddy there we go. Wow. Those reds are just amazing. They weren't able to keep this king snake either due to the move. So the original plan was that we were going to help find him a new home and just adopt him out. But he's so pretty. We're like, well, maybe we'll keep him and use him in either programs or put him in a nice display enclosure at the facility. We're not sure yet what we're going to do, but wouldn't surprise me if we, uh, we ended up wanting to keep him. So yeah, we have him with us too. There you go, buddy. Our journey continues on day three of this road trip. Who knows what we'll find or try food-wise today? We only got nine hours and 45 minutes to go. Oh my gosh. We can do it. Yay, editing on the road. So much fun. Here's my little desk set up. And the best part is when we hit bumps or we go over a bridge and I'm trying to move audio like this. It adds an extra challenge. Oh, and my battery's about to die. So have you ever looked at the side of the truck and realized that's full of stuff for the zoo? Even when I climb up to get our suitcases, I think I only see to about here or here. Yeah, but, but it's packed full all the way to there. We have not seen most of it either. Like somewhere in here is Rex's pool, the anaconda pool, and the turtle enclosure. They're in there, we just don't know yeah. where. <laughs> I don't know what all Stuart packed in here, but it'll be interesting when we take it all out. It will be. It'll be like an epic Christmas present. Yeah, that we paid for. <laughs> yeah. Something that we have both noticed about the South is everyone kind of takes takes their time. You know, no one's in a rush getting things done, which is completely different than up north where you gotta get things done ASAP, you've gotta rush. If you're not hurrying and stressed, then you're doing it wrong. And so it's a, it's a different lifestyle down here. Yes, it's been very interesting to try and get used to it when you're trying to get, get things moving and it's like, all right. <laughs>
Okay, I'm having second thoughts on the jumping spider's name, who has already made a beautiful little nest in the uh, battery case. I'm not sure if we should name him Fuzzy, or Duncan, or Penske, since he was found in a Penske truck. So, we're gonna make a poll on the community tab after this video comes out, and we need you to vote on his name. Well, the 14 hour drive back from Texas is finally over. We are back at our facility in the parking lot. We're just gonna film in the truck here cause it's kind of chilly outside and I wanna have these cuties out. We have not only brought home a 26 foot box truck full of zoo decor from Universal Rocks. Back there. Yep, right back there, which we've only seen maybe a quarter of it. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna unbox the rest, rest tomorrow in another video. But we also came home with three wonderful new additions. These two hognoses and the jumping spider who we yet have to dis we haven't decided on a name yet. We're gonna put a poll up after this video comes out so you can help us vote on a name for him. I guess maybe four new additions if yeah. you include the king snake. Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah, all right. So we, it was a very successful trip. It was a fun ride home. And as always, we'd like to thank the wonderful Patreon backers for not only your support on the channel, but also your amazing suggestions on places we should go to check out and food to try. It was a lot of fun experiencing all of the uh, unique foods and the just places in general in Texas and on our way home. So thank you for all those Patreon backers. I think we're we're done. Are we done? Yeah. I'm ready to go home and go to bed after 10 hours of driving this truck today. Yeah. It was drove a, a lot. The whole way home. Thank you yeah. for driving. Emily didn't want to, for some reason, didn't want to drive the 26 foot truck. No, I didn't trust myself. We wouldn't have made it back alive. Yeah, I don't we think. would have. The next video should be us doing the unboxing of this truck. That's right. It's going to be like the best untrucking ever. Untrucking, unboxing. I yeah. guess they have a word for it. It's called unloading, but unloading. that's not as cool. Ultimate truck unloading video there we go. is coming next. Yep. <laughs> Thanks guys. We'll see you next time. Quick trip. That's not how you spell quick trip. This is an imposter. Now that's a quick trip.